Did you listen to his past album? I watched the visuals. Oh my goodness gracious! Of course, I mean, watched the visuals. about the same. No, the visuals and the audio go together. <laughs> yeah, AV, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. audio visual. You, you need right. that. Like, damn, she and her move. Move. <laughs> Those of you that don't know, Ice Spice has released her debut album. It's called Y2K. It has features from Travis Scott, Gunna, some other people I can't remember at the time. Central C. Central C's on there. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That's my. That's his ad list. All right. Every time I hit Central C, I have to do that. All right. All right. So. Anyway, <laughs> when she first said, she's been promoting this album for a little bit now, right? Mm -hmm. It's been a couple weeks. It's her debut album. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. So when I saw the when I saw the title of the album, it was called Y Two K. What? Let me tell you guys what I think when I hear Y Two K. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. <laughs> Hello Kitty. That was. That was good. Hello Kitty. Ciara. Yeah. Bow Wow. Alicia Keys, it's a it's a very, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, that's what if I think. You, you had to be there. Exactly. You yeah. had to be there, right? And that's sort of like our generation. If you don't know what Y2K is, that's like late 1999s into the 2000s mm -hmm. millennium type thing. And it was like a- What a time. Right. Even like Soulja Boy Soulja Boy, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, just thinking that. Exactly. Uh, unfortunately, I got 06 Jeezy and Gucci Man on this shit. Yo, like I was <laughs> thinking like- her, her cadence and I understand why she switched up her cadence and the way that she raps because that was her biggest critique and obviously she's trying to switch it up experiment but the way that she was rapping it was giving like very grungy New York but I personally I love Ice Spice I'm rooting for her I'm not I never hated on her I really want her to win I think she's a special one but like I I did not enjoy it I was <laughs> like I, I didn't enjoy the way she was rapping in a lot it of was songs. a shit it was <sighs> <laughs> Like then, she in her mood. <laughs> like then, get money too. You think you this shit? <laughs> okay, a little comedic time is going <laughs> really around. Okay, okay. uh, but see, you're on the baddie list, Reggie. So I was just so taken aback when I realized that she went. To, those of you that haven't listened to it, there's a lot of trap beats on there. A lot. And when I say trap beats, again, I'm talking like Gucci, Dolph, Jeezy, Waka. And the delivery is just as aggressive as well. Like. Exactly, which isn't a problem. And, you know, Crime mob, all of that type of shit was a thing in the Y2, Y2K era, I understand. But I, I'm surprised that she didn't lean into the, the pretty music. princess baddie music. Or like... Because yeah, didn't, uh, didn't the last EP do so well? I was just about to say, like, I'm not hating because I actually... I <laughs> yeah. listen to her music. Like, when Like dropped the Like EP um, with In Her Mood, Delhi, Princess Diana, like, that, I loved that project. I remember I, fir it. I first pressed play when I was at the gym. I genuinely, I was like, whoa, like, I actually like I Spice's music. But this project, I didn't, I, I liked, like, two, three songs. It's kind of like when the fat nigga gets skinny and loses his superpowers. <laughs> but do you mean that literally, It's like, though? whatever you mean she wrote, because I don't want to put Ozempic on her. That's just the word on the street. But whatever I'm not going to do that. I, I just said I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, do that, yeah, too. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm not going to do that, either. But mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. there is a physical difference for whatever the reason hopefully she's healthy hopefully this is intentional that she's losing this weight but sometimes when you lose your your, your ass you lose your powers you know, like when a fat nigga lose his gut he's not funny no more like think about all the there's a lot of fat people who lost their funny Tracy Morgan's still good I don't think so he's never made me laugh Tracy Morgan never made you laugh he's never made me laugh I think he's one of the corniest characters ever you don't believe that I really do no I really believe that. You didn't see was, First Sunday with Chris Rock First him? Sunday was fire. Uh, Wasn't he in Longest Long Yard? Hey, yeah, he was yeah, in Longest Yard. I thought he was not, he, he has his moments. Come on. He has his moments, but I don't... I, yeah, he's not for me. Never did it? He's not for me. He for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's one of those where... And yeah. he's still fat. He never got skinny. He ain't hit the zimp. He lost a little bit of You know what it was? He got that Walmart money. He ran him over at Walmart. He been rich ever since, so it stakes every night. Like, I'm afraid for Lil Ro. Have you nah, seen nah, Lil nah, Ro? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good with Lil Ro. I saw Lil Ro. Reggie, Reggie, you saw him? I think I do believe him when he says that like, he's just on his health journey. I do too. I, 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 <laughs> I do too. Because yeah. everything looks proportionate. Yeah, right? He, like, he yeah. actually looks healthy. No, nah, he does. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, but yeah. I'm afraid that his funny may be gone. Oh, I mean, see, he, I never thought he was the funniest. I don't even think he was the funniest, but yeah. I think he has some great comedic timing that I don't think a skinny nigga could pull off. He funnier than Tracy Morgan? No. I right, bet we good. No. <laughs> we, we met on a middle ground he's here. Not, no, I can be honest. Like, I'm not going to say it a lot of you. No, he's not. But yeah, so yeah. I, I I don't know. Like, maybe that's what happened no. with Ice Spice. Like, I'm surprised that she completely pivoted. It makes no sense to me. It sounds like she's trying to keep up with uh, the Luckies of the world, the little Yachties of the world. Even uh, Ian. Ian is a new white rapper that does like a lot of trap style type beats. Mm -hmm. 
Like the sound is current to what the kids are doing right it, now. Yeah, because it's but you like, got the baddies on lock, Ice. Uh huh. Why not just feed them? Like it sounded <laughs> like to me, it sounded like Y two K, but like the Gen Z interpretation of Y two K. Oh wow! Like mm. and she named it Y two K because um she was born literally on the first day of the millennium, like two thousand. So it made sense, but she I don't. Capricorn? Yes, she she was born July first, yeah. two thousand. Isn't that cool? January first. Wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. January. I don't know why I said Jan- oh, July. Yeah, January first. So yeah. I don't know. Y two K fit. Oh, she sampled Sean Paul. Like I thought that's where she was going with it. Mm-hmm. But I gotta be honest, this was like a really important project for her, and I don't I don't think it was the best. I, I think know. she's just gonna be one of those people who kind of transition out of music. Um, I think right now this is what's kind of get getting her where it needs to get her but i don't see this being a long game for her um she even apparently allegedly i don't know how true it is but they said she dissed cardi b i, I heard about it yeah, yeah, yeah i don't know if it really was it sounded like a diss it seemed yeah. like a diss Some we're not of the in baddie news so yeah you mind pulling that up um just pulling up the cardi b yeah. and um ice spice exchange but it sounded like maybe that was a play i hate when we've become so informed on the smoke and mirrors of the industry. When I see a Tyler, right, last week we kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, I, and I don't know if I said this on Patreon or if I said this on the podcast, but I believe that the industry is trying to gear Tyler to be like the next Rihanna. Oh, right? yeah. I forgot where you said that at. Um, where I feel like they're trying to give her the looks. They're really protective of her image and who she's with. Uh, obviously, she has a very unique look. She has an accent. She's not from the States. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of how they manufactures Rihanna's earlier career in the Tyler. And I feel a similar thing with Cardi B. I mean, excuse me, with Ice Spice. To where it's like they're trying to manufacture her into a Cardi B part two. You get what I'm saying, I like, I, 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 and I, I, I feel like I see it, and it's so she's got, obvious. She's got the brand deal, like she's the work, marketability. Yeah, she's working big people. She's working Taylor Swift. She's Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. I can see that. Like her and Taylor Swift don't fuck with each other. <laughs> yeah, they we, don't. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. They got nothing in common. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor doesn't even know who she is. No. She was like, "Who is this?" Nah, she know <laughs> in she, my section. <laughs> oh wait, mark that because. We had a heart to heart too, and Reggie, I'm sorry. We did. Thank you. I, I <laughs> fucked up. Thank Was you. that not the proper context of that word? I don't know. No. I don't know. It felt bad. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't processed this yet. Okay, all right. She's still processing. Again, head right. over to Patreon where we really flush out. Oh yes, our we had heart some to great, yes. Yeah. This was a heart to heart on Patreon where <laughs> yeah. I, I can't say certain words, but yeah, yeah, I just feel like Ice Spice. They're trying to. Uh, manufacture her, create her to be the next Cardi B, Tyler to be like the next Rihanna. Um, I think the, 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 no, I'm not even going to say that, but I can just see it in real time. Right. And that's what mm-hmm. it felt like when I saw this whole rollout and I see how everything's playing. Um, Pierre, you have the Ice Spice and Cardi B stuff? And all just like, yep, she's getting it. such major looks like major. on the, on award shows yeah. and like winning shit. Like, I don't know. I agree. Um, so on double XL, it says, uh, People are thinking that um, Ice Spice dropped, you know, um, like I pretty much was talking about Cardi B on BB Belt, I think it's called. BB Belt, yep. Uh, the line goes, this one bitch is built like an ant, ew. Crash outs. And they go in on rants, cash now, cash cow. And she said, I'd be getting them bands, damn bitches uh, switching, but they wasn't trans. Grr. It's hard to interpret baddie, right? Yeah. Wait, that's what the bar was? <laughs> yeah. And I think it was it was some other ones too, but again, um, okay. I, I I don't know what's going on with Ice Spice. I didn't expect us to do the deep dive on Ice Spice. I didn't come prepared for that because, like I said, well, you came I, I, like I'm a visual learner. <laughs> when so it comes to female rap, I'm a visual learner. Yeah. So which Travis Scott? That's mad sexist. That you said it. Yes. <laughs> I just be sitting like here. It hit me. You like, said it. Hit me after. Yeah. But it's dead ass though. Yo, I'm gonna keep that. No pun intended. No pun intended. Oh shit. Trying to tell you. Yeah. Any similarities between her and Sexy Red? I was gonna ask. Oh. Who, actually, who do you think is worse for the youth? <laughs> Save on. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> what happened? Dude, you're just trying to set me up. <laughs> what am I doing? That? Me, I think it's a valid question. I think it's a valid question. We've had conversations here about that type of music and those types of. I'll artists. take the debate. What's the question? Right. Uh, so between any- Sexy Red and Ice Spice, who do you think is worse for the youth? Who's worse for the youth? And I'm not mad at any answer. Because we all listen to people who has fucked up our youth a little bit. <laughs> I think they're both doing amazing things for our future. 
Oh, the both of them. The both. That is a. Am- How I think wow. both of these women. Oh man. Are putting on okay. a display of professionalism. Oh, wow. All right. Wow. Artistry. Mm. I think they're at the top of their class where our youth is in great hands, following Ooh. Sexy Red and Ice Spice in the future. Well, this is a big development. If you watched our um, episode with Edin recently. This was not his stance before, but now, you know, this is his stance now. And, I think they're a beacon of hope. The beacon of hope. Wow. I right. love seeing women grab their Wow. <laughs> the growth you exhibit is incredible. Truly. That it's empowering. No, truly. Really? Truly. No, truly. Truly. It's true. And not in the Donald Trump way of grabbing <laughs> No. They do it their own. Like, grabbing their own <laughs> Own. Yes. yes. That is, they got to be. Reggie, is that empowering? I would say if, if a lady wants to perform like that I, and she wants to do it and we support her, I would say yes. I'm I'm glad we can support the both of them. Imagine I asked you that, you you would have fought me. No, not at all. Ask it to me right now. Is it empowering grabbing your? If you want to grab your, that shit is empowering. <laughs> Say your. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got That's that. why I said I can't oh. ask you the question. Yeah. Oh, I but you said ask, ask me. Oh, oh not the baddies. No, I got inches. Okay. Hey. Oh. Sh- <laughs> My fault. This episode is so unhinged. <laughs> I thought he was going to ask you, like, My the fault. Sexy Red versus Ice Spice question. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I was wanna, on it. Like, I, I don't, and this is being completely honest and transparent. True. I don't want to put them against each other. Never that. Even though they're no, Not even on some fucking political yeah. shit. Like, I really don't. Because yeah. I really don't give a fuck about their music. All right. All right. All right. You know what? He's telling the truth there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. No, he's right. That's so, right. Yeah, if I'm really into that, honestly.